we're back again to play some games. We're back with Obey Me. And last time we figured out that Osmo's nail polish is the reason everybody's switching personalities. Because now, first it was Beale and Belfi. Now it's um, Levi and Maman. So before I start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's all in the description below and we can get started. How to change them back. How do you just wash it off? Oh. So the nail polish contains water from the Phantom Spring. Well, that explains it. Yeah. What's that? You mean the Phantom Spring that can make demons swap personalities? Now why would he... Why would they use water from a spring that does that? Yeah. Not normally, no. But there are exceptions. Uh, they must have drawn from the fountain on the exact day that curse. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. They must have drawn from the fountain on the exact day that curse of reflection happened to be present in the water. Like the night before a full moon. Something along those lines. Golly, bad timing. Mm. Ah, and then when Ozma used the nail polish on the two of us at the same time, the curse took effect. Huh? Which cause personality traits from each demon to reflect onto the other, switching them around. So, how do we get them back to normal? We made the twins go back to nor what made the twins go back to normal? The effect will probably wear off with time, right? What made them go back to normal? They took a bath. That's the only thing they did. Oh. Right? Didn't they? Yeah, I feel like that should provide a hint as to what to do. How do we end up going back to normal? Hmm, well... Suka. Ah, I see. So that's how you think it happened? Well, I'm not certain this is gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Lauren, will you help us turn Levi and Mama back to the normal selves? Of course! I can have mama all over this video game person. Huh? What's it, Lauren? Why'd you want to see me out here? I don't really have time for this right now. <laughs> Seriously. It's unbelievable. Uh, more. I lost a fortune playing high rollers race track. I was supposed to make back a hundred thousand gram, but I lost even more instead. This sucks. Um, I don't really care. Cheer up. Even though that money could be mine. I'd love to cheer up if I could. But right now, that's just not possible. You know what? I should just make the twins reimburse me for 100,000 gram, huh? No. Absolutely not. Leave them alone. I mean, if it weren't for them, that sweet, sweet money would be mine right now. You're worse than Mama. Mama is not that. Mama's not this mean. Uh, maybe not. Hear me. Huh? Spirit of water, rain down upon the demon before me. In the name of the sorcerer Lauren, make it so. <laughs> Golly, did I drown you? Huh? I got water all up my nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think you're doing, Lauren? I mean, dousing me with water with zero warning? How could you? I mean, you've done it to me before. <laughs> I know I'm just a worthless, muddy shut-in of an otaku. But even so, that was pretty mean, don't you think? Huh? Wait a minute. Mm. What am I doing messing around in the online casino? Ugh. And high rollers racetrack? I could care less about. You're back to normal! I knew I liked the normal you better. Huh? Huh? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I like this Levi more. <laughs> that, uh, that greed personality does not fit you. Oh man, whoa. 
Is there anything better than a Sindre who wears glasses? Boy, I'll beat you. Like, Devlina is great too. But when it comes to overall looks, it's hard to top Mako. So that's your type, huh? Is that who you mess with? Oh. I mean, I'm as surprised as you are. But there isn't... But there's something about Mako that sort of reminds me of you, Lauren. It's hard to explain. Boy, I'll beat you. Don't compare me to one of your, uh... Game characters. Oi! Yo, what's the big idea sneaking up on me like that? You nearly gave me a heart attack. Huh? Anyway, what are you doing here? Like, I came here because I didn't want anyone bothering me while I game. I'm busy trying to unlock all the still shots of Evelina and Mako. Now, shoo, off with you. Golly. Spirit of Water sent forth a catas. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do this one. Sounds aggressive. Ali. <laughs> Can you swim? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I was just mad. I was just mad. <laughs> you trying to kill me or something? I don't know. Like, what do you think you're doing? I mean, what if Devilina and Mako ended up catching a cold? Hold on. What am I thinking? Video game characters can't catch colds? That's just crazy. So. And look at my game system. It's soaping wet. How am I supposed to sell this thing if it's broken? It's limited edition, you know. There are hardly any of them out there. Even used, it should sell for 4,000 gram. 40,000 gram, at least. Uh, uh. Hachu! My bad. So has that temper of yours cooled off now? How about I warm you up? Come here. I'm not mad at you no more. Huh? Well, you're the one who doused me with water. Doused me with water. You better do something to make up for that. Oh. Now, don't just stand there. Hurry up and warm me up. Ooh, that was, that's tempting. That's tempting. Just <laughs> that's tempting. But you know, I can't not hug him. Hmm. Well, since you're hugging me and all, I guess the mama could forgive your rudeness earlier. I don't know. Really? Because if I were you, I I beat me up. <laughs> but listen, you need to learn how to dial it down sometimes. I mean, you didn't just sprinkle a little water on me. No, you left me drenched. My bad. Or are we just feeling jealous? Is that it? You were jealous of... What's the name again? You know, the character from that game I was playing. No, I wasn't jealous. Just, no. no. <laughs> Beneath that fiery exterior, you've actually got a real cute side to you, huh? So what side of Lauren am I dealing with right now? And what other hidden sides of you are there? Because I want you to show them to me. Even the ones you don't show anyone. <laughs> what you laughing at? Hey, it's not funny. Exactly, it isn't. The game system I let mom and ends up getting drenched. And I'm not paying y'all back for that. No, sir. Good work, Lauren. I'm happy we learned how to change them back. Yeah, well, it would have been nice if you found a gentler way of doing it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they took a shower, not a bath. Same thing. Uh, the key was talking to the twins. They said that they stopped acting strange after taking a shower yesterday. That led me to theorize that dousing someone with water would reverse the effect of the curse. So I asked Lauren to give Levi and Mom in a nice, cold, involuntary shower. Wait, that means you could have used warm water if you wanted, doesn't it? <laughs> but cold water is so much more invigorating. Ugh. Seriously, what kind of status are you? <sighs> Hosmo's the one responsible for putting us through that little ordeal. If you want to be mad at someone, be mad at him. Oh, um, 
Sorry. <laughs> no, not Lucifer. After the way you tore into Osmo for what he did, I think he's learned his lesson. So, why don't we move on? I believe it's time we start the student council meeting. I forgot about that. I don't want to be here. Drama at the student council meeting. Of course there is. Of course there is. Deva. To start off, Lauren, it's time I told you what you want to know. Yeah, why am I here? Namely, why I asked you to come to the Devil Dome on such short notice. No, notice. <laughs> Why I asked you to come to the Devil Dome on such short notice? Wait, is this about what I think it's about? You're gonna ask me on a date? Yeah, let's joke a little bit. You're gonna ask me on a date? Huh? That's awfully sneaky of you, Lord Diablo. <laughs> as much as I wish that was why I called you here, I'm afraid not. Before we left the human world, you threw a till we meet again party for us. That's true, I did do that. And I've been doing some thinking about what the seven brothers here said to me at the party. What we said to you. Oh right, that. You want me to join the family? Ye? <laughs> At the time, I could barely believe my ears, and the fact that Lucifer joined them in their plea made it all the more shocking to me. <laughs> I didn't join them. They dragged me along. That's all. I don't know whether or not this will turn out to be the answer you're looking for, but I think it's worth giving it a shot. Huh? Wait, what do you mean by giving it a shot? There are still many invisible barriers that divide the three worlds. For you to overcome these barriers and bring someone from a different world into your family, it will require a certain amount of understanding and acceptance from those around. Around you. Oh. Which is why I like Lauren to join us again here at Rad. Uh, I don't want to be a student. Can I be staff? I will be staff. Can I be a staff member? Which is why I like Lauren joining us here at RAD as an exchange student. Huh? Whoa! And wait, does that mean Lauren will stay with us and double them again? It totally does, right? Yay! I mean, why have me back? What's the- I should've chose that one. <laughs> Seriously? Oh wow, this is- this is amazing! Yeah. Hold on. I wouldn't celebrate just yet if I were you. Huh? Why not? Hmm? Lord Diablo, what exactly are you trying to get Lauren to sign up for? What's your angle? Ah. That's a good question. Allow me to explain. Our last exchange program was meant to provide an opportunity for cultural exchange amongst the inhabitants of all three worlds. But nothing more than that. Think of it merely as a starting point on the path of path to mutual understanding. But this time, the goal of the program is to make a stronger case for mutual understanding, directed at everyone both inside and outside the Devil Dome. I don't want to be a student though. That's more classes, more tests. What? What? That? What's Diablo for this? Is he a, is he the principal? Is he the head headmaster? What is he actually? I don't even remember. Uh huh. Well, I don't really understand the particulars of what you're saying here. Honestly, I don't even know if Lucifer. I don't even remember. It's been so long. I don't even remember if Lucifer is a student. I don't even remember stuff. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I don't under I don't really understand. The particulars of what you're saying here. <laughs> but either way, if Lauren becomes an exchange student, it means we all get to be together for a while. Hmm. You're gonna say yes, right Lauren? Uh, of course. I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> <sighs> Good. I was worried there for a second. 
<laughs> You're as excited about this as we are, huh, Lauren? Great. <sighs> and? Isn't there something else you'd like to say as well, Diablo? The issue you want to discuss with Lauren? It wasn't the exchange program, was it? Hmm? Wait, so there's more? Ah. Let me get straight to the point. Lauren, how would you like to be an officer on the Rad Student Council? Sure. I was so shocked. I can do it. You want to make Lauren a student council officer? Hmm? Are you being serious, Lord Davilo? Oh. Naturally. I wouldn't joke around about something like this, would I? Though I admit, I do understand your surprise. Eh. If Lauren joined the student council as an officer, it was a powerful message to all three worlds. Everyone will see just how close we are, how deeply we trust each other. I will join as long as you know who. You know who, right there, uh, doesn't join. Because if y'all let Solomon join the officers, that means I gotta work with him and go to meetings with him and walk around with him. And get along with him and I can't do that to myself as someone who will likely become one of the greatest sorcerers beside Solomon himself the young master believes that there could be no better person for this role sorry I there was no reason to drag Solomon out of nowhere there was no reason for me to do that oh wait don't tell me you're planning on making Lauren do the thing what thing it's required of everyone to join the council so yes Hopefully not another test. For real? Y'all want me to jump off there? What? What do you want me to do? Ah. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I don't mean to frighten you, but in order to become a student council officer, tradition dictates that you must undergo a trial. And naturally, it isn't easy. You can accept this challenge, and commit yourself to doing what it takes to join the council, or you can decline. The choice is yours, Lauren. But I can tell you this, we need you. So what do you think? Will you do this? I mean, if you really need me that badly... What do you want me to do? Lauren? Yeah. So you decide to go out for a walk at this hour? Uh, how about you, Lucifer? What are you doing out? Hmm? Who has to do a trial to join the student council? Uh, what do you think? I came, to track I came to track you down, obviously. I know I've warned you before not to go out alone in the devil dome at night. What was something were to happen to you? I'll use magic on them. Aw, you worried about me? I'll be fine. <sighs> this is the devil, though. Everyone here other than you is a demon. You are aware of that, aren't you? But I am a witch. Mage. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Even so, I suppose there are a few demons now who can actually pose a threat to you. I'll just summon y'all if anything happens. Boom. Snap my fingers. You really have grown strong, haven't you, Lauren? I did it all for you, Lucifer. <laughs> well then, I should really praise you more. Or would you prefer a different sort of reward? Hold on, hold on, calm down, calm down. Praise me more. Looking at you now, at who you've become, I can tell just how hard you've worked to make it happen. Come here. I like to pat you on the head. Don't do that, though. I don't like that. Don't do that. Don't touch my hair. 
To be clear, I don't usually pat people on the head when I praise them. You're a special case. To be clear, I don't let people pat me on my head. <sighs> it's chill out here at night. Here, stay close to me. Here I am again, walking down the street of Devil Dome with my arms around you. It's almost hard to believe. Today at the student council meeting, you agreed to the Devil's proposal. You should know that the trial for admission into the student council isn't easy. Ugh. But now that you've committed yourself to the challenge, you have to succeed. All of us are going to do everything we can to support you. You can do this, Lauren. I know you can. Thank you. Okay. Um. We are joining the student council. As long as we pass the test. And still no new characters yet, but I'm sure they're going to appear very soon. Uh, be sure to check out my... Uh, Amnesia playthrough. Check out my... Pizarro <laughs> playthrough. Um, and my other stuff, whatever you want. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's always description below, and I will see you guys next time.